Hello and welcome to episode 26 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here with Cycle 34, day 20. Five days left in a drought currently. Last time we started to build this uh, middle ring out as its own district, yet to be named. You guys can uh, continue submitting names. We'll have a poll later this week and we will end up renaming this district early next week because of uh, my uh, out of town schedule. Going to make it very, very hard to name a district uh, in that amount of time, but we've got lots of wood down here and that's part of the reason why I started turning this into a separate district is we could move all of the uh, wood processing from up here down to the middle ring and make good use of all of this space down here. So part of that was also to try and reduce the FPS lag because we have a whole lot of paths as many of you have said uh, in the comments throughout the past several videos. Um, there's just, there's too many paths. We got to get rid of some of these. So uh, it brings me great pleasure to share with you that we will be doing exactly that in this episode because you might've noticed this little icon down here that says trains. That's right. The Choo Choo Mod is back, folks. We've got not only the Choo Choo Mod, but we have the Railway Extension Mod that has steel bridges and tunnels with track integrated so we can make excellent use of trains for uh, transferring materials between districts or inside of districts, depending on all that stuff. But uh, the caveat to that is that they take a lot of resources to build, specifically a lot of planks. And of course, the, we have the uh, scrap metal as well to deal with. But uh, our planks currently, we have one, a single plank. So our plank currently, the only plank in the entire, uh, the entire save currently. Obviously, we can't start building without having a lot of planks. So uh, we are going to continue expanding our infrastructure here. We do have these four areas here uh, that we will be building uh, wood storage and processing on top of this side of the map. Well, this side of the map has this one, but we're missing one right here. We do have to put in and then we've got to put in plenty more of these industrial lumber mills and get our bots uh, numbers up as well. So we can have this entire middle district yet to be named. Uh, filled with bots. We have 55 open jobs for the bots currently. And uh, we do have bot factories up and running. We have plenty of power stored up, so that's not going to be a problem throughout the duration of the drought. The issue is, as one might be able to uh, infer, we don't have any planks. And that is uh, kind of an essential thing in the bot making process, because planks become gears, and then both of those things independently become bot parts. So uh, we kind of uh, kind of did it to ourselves the way we have this set up with our uh, enormous quantities of gear factories over here. So seeing how this is a plank storage that is no longer storing planks because it's empty, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just continue putting in other things in here. Uh, we have access to flipping buildings now once again, which is a fantastic development. So I'm just going to put in a whole bunch of these uh, industrial lumber mills. Ah, yes, I forgot about the berry bushes. Well, we'll get uh, we'll get those out of here, but we will put in some more of those. And then on the very end here, of course, we can connect everything with a straight power shaft. And that's how our power will get across. That will solve so many of our problems, just having more and more planks actually being made here because we do have storage. OK, well, specifically in this spot, we have storage for metal components, but we do also have log storage and we can continue importing more as time goes by because we have plenty of trees that have not been cut over here that we just need to have uh, ways to use. So that's going to help. Uh, it's also been brought to my attention that we probably need to start putting in mines in the underground ruins, but uh, to that I'm going to say yes. That is something we do need to work on in the future, but uh, currently we have this entire thing right here, still tons of metal left. We have this tons of metal left. And of course, these two corners have already been cleared out. And we do have this right here, this one mine uh, isolated, ready to have the actual building constructed on it, and then all the accompanying storage, etc. cetera. Uh, but uh, again, it comes down to having the manpower, beaver power, bot power, uh, to take care of all this. We're going to need a lot more than 85 bots in this one district, and then a lot more than, what, what is it, 50 in this uh, middle one? Oh, I'm, oh, 69. Okay, nice. We've got uh, more than I thought. But uh, it's going to take a lot more bots to actually staff something like that uh, versus just having, where were we over here? Uh, we got a handful 
of our... Uh, actually, did we even have... We don't. We don't even have any scrap metal harvesting occurring here. Okay, so that's actually good news. I had thought we'd already kind of started depleting that. So neither of these areas actually uh, actually have anything, really. Okay, building builder's huts. So, well, it's not like we really have the uh, really have the bots to even work all the stuff we're already doing. So it's going to be one of those things we're just going to kind of have to manage our resources, kind of juggle things back and forth a little bit as we continue uh, going about our business. Let's just make sure our power situations. Oh, we got tons of power stored. We got 350 hours left. That's going to be fine. Go into turbo mode here. You can see the FPS shrink down into the teens. So one of the ways we can solve that is by removing extraneous paths uh, by demolishing buildings. And all we have to do is just make sure we only select the path to do this and not to the... Uh, yeah, see, it wants to remove that corner piece. So we'll have to be very careful when we go in to uh, actually remove the paths. We don't accidentally remove the infrastructure that we're going to need to put the trains on. But, you know, like corner bits like this, nobody, nobody's taking this outside ring. It's not necessary. And when we go to actually put the trains in, we're going to have to have this cleared anyhow. So uh, hopefully, hopefully that reduces a little bit of the uh, pathing math. Some of these I am going to leave in place like between here and here. Uh, but uh, honestly, most most of the rest of this is just kind of superfluous. It was cool to put in, nice to have, but it is at this point just tanking our FPS. And we, uh, oh yeah, that's beautiful, just like that. Uh, we we don't need we don't need that kind of toxic energy in our lives right now. So uh, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead, just remove all of this right here. We'll get this one bit down and we also have these paths here that eventually are going to have to be here uh, but I'm not going to expand these until we have to we're again still working on getting a bunch of this taken care of and I guess the the bots are using these to kind of get to some of the trees but you know they can also just walk through the trees that's that's always been allowed it's never, never been a problem so that uh That'll just be something we spent another couple of moments taking care of. Doesn't have to be a big, super involved thing. But I did want you guys to know that I do genuinely appreciate re reading all of your comments. I, I'm not I, I'm not intended to come off as sarcastic or unappreciative. Like I don't, some people have thought, based on how I read something, that, that genuinely is not the case. I, I do very much appreciate all of you. So uh, I am going to try and make a better effort to implement comments without it coming off as just, oh, I guess we have to do this now, because that's that's just not the case. All right, so we're just about, just about finished here. Just got to get this one little bit, and then uh, this corner in between, and we'll be in good shape. Just have to make sure not to, uh, yeah, it's for whatever reason it wants to uh, delete this corner piece. Now, I did say how much I dislike these uh, intermediary side platforms, but they are very useful, so we're going to keep them in. Yeah, see, it always wants to get rid of that for some reason. Yeah, all right, we'll just have to manually delete. And there we go. All right, so we, we removed probably about 100, 150 uh, path tiles. Has it really helped the FPS? Eh, I don't, I don't know, maybe not. But uh, it is something that we need to do eventually anyway. So that's fine. Uh, this, all of this does get used, so I did, I did want to leave this entire uh, side ready to go just like it was without any issue there. Uh, yeah, we just, at this point, we just need more bots, honestly. We're still lacking 10 down here because we have all these other buildings we just built, but uh, they are being used. We just, again, don't have enough bots. The plank numbers are still in the single digits, but it is no longer one. So I guess we can consider that to be a win. So while we're doing that, again, we, we really can't start doing anything with the trains until we have a ton of planks. So. Don't don't get don't get your hopes up that they're going to be running in this episode, but we are going to start building track at the very least. Other things that uh, people have been concerned about is uh, crop production, and again, right now it's perfectly fine. But if our goal is to have a thousand beavers, or even just five hundred and twelve, or whatever the the number would be, if I built all the uh, all the sides the same with our barracks, we're going to have to have more food eventually, and that is part of the reason why we're going through and getting rid of all of these guys right here. Because we eventually do have to put farms up here 
and we need to make sure we're making good use of the space. So these large industrial piles that had previously had dirt in them can all go away. Uh, we're not doing any more dirt excavation in the corners, although that was a cool thing to do back when we did it. Uh, we no longer have use for these, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of these empty ones. Well, that one wasn't quite empty, but they'll uh, they'll just put all the dirt in the other uh, the other spot there. And I, I will I will go ahead and empty this just so we can go into uh, into this guy. It might be just about completely full when we're done, but that's fine because that's all we needed. And look at that. There we go. Now we just have the one that has 178 and they can come get the rest of these logs like they really need all the logs. We have almost 10,000. But uh, it, it all eventually ends up mattering all the space. So that will be very, very good to get taken care of. All right. One of the chief problems that I said we were going to have to address in the next episode during the previous episode was getting power from the central core here with all of these wheels, uh, which, by the way, we still have to put over here. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to accomplish that with how these paths have to work. Uh, but we might end up later on moving these hydroponic gardens anyway to be kind of over uh, this area here, depending on what our recreation ends up looking like. But uh, what what's going to have to happen is all of this is going to go away and the storage underneath it for stuff like logs is also going to go away because we're not going to need to process any wood up here at all. We're going to import all our building materials. So basically this entire corner right here is going to be gone. And we are still going to have buildings that transfer power like our fermenters and our canola oil presses. And what a great sound. Uh, we have that to transfer power this way, but we just have to decide how we're going to have stuff laid out. I kind of like this corner here with the food factories and the, uh, the coffee breweries, although we're not going to need to have probably ever more than two coffee breweries. If you take a look, we have 4,700 coffee. I don't think we're going to be running out of that anytime soon. But this general design, I feel like, works pretty well. Uh, probably you're not going to put any flywheels underneath these things because everything's connected now anyway. But uh, I do kind of like the idea of anchoring the power transfer with these uh, large two-story food factories because you, you can see right here, this is actually a really good way of getting the power across the paths. And it's it, it fits. It's not super incredibly beautiful, but it also does not require super ugly garbage outside of what's absolutely necessary. So honestly, I kind of think I want to just duplicate this. Maybe not with the canola oil tanks. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that would solve the problem of getting the power across here and across here without having to have some crazy garbage. And then that would also make it easier for us to have uh, fermenters and other stuff maybe right here and right here outside of where we have our campfires. And then, uh, of course, once we get rid of our inventors, we can put campfires here and here as well and get our power across that way going through our uh, large barracks. But around the outside of this top level, everything's connected. That is not a problem. We took care of that several episodes ago. So I don't believe we really need to worry about too much else in that regard. Uh, finished food storage, I think it's probably going to be fine for the duration of the playthrough with uh, our, what is it, eight of these identical storage things. Obviously, the uh, fermented mushroom situation is not ideal because uh, we have to reconfigure a whole bunch of stuff. But we'll get it figured out. It's not going to be difficult, and I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Just got to figure out what we're going to do with our hydroponic gardens. Uh, there's been a couple good suggestions in the past. Some people have said uh, you can put them over the top of our central canal here, wherever there's not uh, water wheels. Some people said you could put it over here. Some people said you could put it on top of the food storage, on top of the barracks. We got we got lots of options. And we also have side platforms too, so let's not forget about those. Uh, we'll just see what happens when we get around to it. It's just going to be one of those things where we might have to do a little bit of experimentation and uh, so on and so forth. Wow, I'll tell you what we don't need is 1,200 explosives stored up here. I don't think we're going to have to do any more blowing up uh, in this entire upper ring, probably for the duration of the playthrough. So we probably should find somewhere else to put those. I'm sure we will at some point. But uh, as soon as we have better plank numbers, and we kind of do are up to 100-something, I do want to just rip all of, this, all of this out in one fell swoop, excuse me, and then uh, start putting in other raw storage. Like right here, we have eggplants, and we have corn, and we have algae, and we have algae here as well. 
uh, this central space being covered is going to be a very good way uh, for us to maximize storage space without making it look incredibly ugly. We can also do stuff like put monuments on top of these and decorations, roof pieces, all sorts of cool stuff that'll make it look nice and eventually factor into the whole mega build aspect that uh, some of you feel is lacking in this. Even though we're, we're building stuff all over the map, but uh, we don't have one cohesive structure that I guess defines a mega build in the classical sense. So we'll have to figure something out. If you have any ideas, of course, I am always open to those. Uh, depends on what we're going to be able to build uh, in terms of structure wise. Please no uh, 3D animal art. I cannot comprehend how to make those. But uh, uh, everything else I, I think is pretty much fair game. So let's uh, mm, lag. Yes. Drought ended cycle 35 begins as I go around the wrong way here. But we now have space to build a couple more of these industrial lumber mills. Let's put six of those right across from there. And then we have space here. Make sure we can get rid of the rest of these uh, berry bushes. Uh, I will go ahead and try to figure out exactly what's going to go on the back side of this. Honestly, it might be more industrial lumber mills. So I think this is going to be a good place for us to just put in... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and build four of these. We'll make all these have logs, because why not? Or I could I could at least have two for planks right here and then two for logs right here, just so we have some sort of storage. Uh, that's going to be appropriate for both of those. But we will uh, we'll get to all this in due time. Just want to make sure we're making incremental upgrades and uh, not forgetting about stuff for entire periods of time, because that is... Uh, that's how disasters happen. <laughs> like in the... Uh, the other, the Folktales playthrough, um, when all of that went down. I promise that's 100% organic and I did not make it up. <laughs> Seriously. I just forget about stuff if I'm not constantly thinking about it and reminding myself. And that is, I don't know, while it might be kind of funny, I legitimately do not enjoy when that happens. That was, that was not fun. <laughs> but you guys, you guys laughed at it, so I guess it's fine. All right, so we're getting our uh, plank numbers looking up pretty nicely here. Uh, hopefully the bot numbers start to creep up as well. I can see we now have limbs again. That was one of the big problems is not having enough to make limbs. Yeah, because those guys need the planks and the gears. So now hopefully that's working out a little bit better. And we can continue on uh, with what we have going on over here. So uh, we have this thing right here in the middle of waiting on stuff for the engines. We don't have metal blocks because I'm willing to bet this district does not have any storage for metal blocks assigned. Um, yeah, I think it's mostly logs. We have scrap metal storage. Um, can I hold down tab? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any storage for metal blocks, so that's probably, probably contributing to this. Uh, I am going to find a place. I mean, I hate to just have everything in the same spot, but this is full this I wanted to uh, get rid of because we did have uh, scrap metal and stuff here. Do we have metal blocks just chilling or is that mostly just scrap metal? Because this all needs to go away. <laughs> we got a, we got plenty of stuff we want to put up here like more wood processing facilities. Uh, we've got plenty of wood storage here. So I guess, I guess for lack of anything else, you know, better to put here. I'll just, I'll just put a couple of these. It is much easier to place items adjacent to the path now that we have all this stuff taken out, but I keep forgetting to use tab. Uh, we can make that, and then that should help us uh, get some of this stuff off the ground and uh, make our way toward a little bit of a better, uh, better setup here. We already have these industrial lumber mills here. We just don't have enough bots to run them. The age-old problem. So, like I said... Uh, this right here needs to be mirrored over to this side. I just have to remember exactly how I had this set up. Yeah, it was the near side had that. Um, yeah, okay. So that's a stump, right? I think, yeah, okay. And we'll use our tab here. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. I'm. Well, I, I shouldn't say I'm upset because this is great, but... I wish I would have uh, paid attention to this earlier being a thing, because that would have solved so many problems. 
But no sense getting upset about it. Again, that was uh, in the past, and now we are here in the present. So we'll go ahead and just keep on stacking these. Just get this whole mountain of storage set up. Because I think it's going to behoove us to have uh, this much in place. So we can pretty much completely clear all of our stuff at the same time. I think that's going to be worth our efforts in the long run. So we'll just keep on doing this. This is the last one of these we're going to build. I just have four of them. So that should be A-OK. -okay. And then of course we'll have the uh, power stuff take care of as well. This is one of those areas where we are going to have to have the uh, the paths actually connect and we will have to remember how we had everything else set up, I believe. I believe I decided that these uh, outside bits here were going to be where the ladders went and just make sure that's turned around and it is. Yeah, and then the uh, the inside of this needs to be... All right, I'm not going to wait for them to cut that tree down. We're just going to just gonna go ahead and get rid of those two. Make sure we're all set, good to go. Nice and easy. And then this will be a very, very useful thing in the future for us to have. And we'll have the path go all the way across the top because why not? Oh no, I didn't do it in the other corners. Did I do it? Um. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I guess if we want stuff to match, then I'm uh, not gonna have the path go all the way across. Sorry to uh, disappoint you. But I have the uh, insatiable desire to have everything match perfectly. Perhaps desire is the in incorrect word to use there, but I don't care. We're fine. You know the drill at this point. Get everything connected. Make sure stuff is working properly. And move on from there and make sure everyone is set up for success. So we do have to wait for them to come get rid of this, but uh, it's going to take a while to build this anyway, so that's not much of a concern. Uh, our connection over here, uh, we probably should remove all this. If you remember last episode, this uh, this little bit of connectivity right here is what caused us a whole lot of problems trying to get everything, well, connected. So um, the way that this was set up, I actually don't remember how the other sides did it. Let's take a look. Okay, so this was still going all the way across level. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but this bit right here, uh, because of the connectivity with the small gates and of them having vertical clearance issues, uh, we did have to remove the uh, pathway between here and everywhere else. They just have to all come through here. But they can very quickly, very easily go up the stairs uh, or go over here and go up those stairs or, well, ladders. Go up here, go around etc so on and so forth so that i just needed to refresh my memory and how this was set up and uh i, I don't know i kind of want to i kind of want to fix this but maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll leave that alone for right now and just uh, come on over here and do everything the way that we uh, think it needs to be done remember that this is going to be fully connected on the front end we just have to have that set up like so that's going to be the straight to vertical and then, of course, uh, nope, not that one. Vertical on top. Bingo, bango, bongo right here. Done. And then right along the outside with the path. And then the second level up here should be good. And then uh, this, of course, will be going across the path to have our power transferred from our buildings that are actually making use of it. So we'll go ahead and do everything else the way that we did the other corners. There probably is a better way, again, to have this hooked up, but that's the way we did it. And until it is proven that that was a horrible mistake, that's how we're gonna, that's how we're gonna keep making it happen. That's, uh, that's what you gotta do. All right, so that's gonna work there. And then I had this set up, I believe, like so, with this vertical. And then a four-way. Even if we didn't need it there, that's uh, what we did. So we've got our lumber mills, industrial lumber mills. Uh, am I going to worry about doorway placements? That's not even the right building. How did I do that? Maybe I did the scroll wheel, didn't like that. Well, that's flipped anyway, so I guess that's fine. That'll go there, that'll go there. And then, of course, we'll have to have some charging stations. And you know we already are going to put them here. So that will take care of that just fine. And we'll put the engines in later 
once we actually have uh, the space in here and the metal to build them. But for right now, they've got plenty, plenty to keep themselves busy. And I believe... I've really got to stop holding down the control for that. I'm pretty sure this district doesn't even have anybody building right now. If we take a look at our jobs in District 3, uh, nobody working in the district center and nobody working in the builder's huts. So um, suffice to say, this is about to become a priority job. And uh, <laughs> oh, they haven't even finished building these either. Yikes. Okay. I'll tell you what. Uh, we will go ahead. Is this the... Uh, that's construction priority. Okay, job priority... Uh, definitely needs to be the builder's huts. And now that I know we didn't have anybody building, that would explain why nothing was getting built. So they can uh, go ahead and take care of all this. Hopefully hopefully they build the builder's huts first so they can get a little bit of help with that. And then we can go on about our business and everything will be just fine. So this is already basically replaced all of these. Um... The only thing that I'm kind of concerned about at the moment is power transfer between the outside and the inside. But it is day five of a temperate cycle. So everything up here, uh, specifically the only thing we're really worried about right now is th all this food stuff because everything here is getting ripped out. That can be powered by this. And everything on the outside should not have any problem being powered by all of these water wheels. We're making tons of power. So that should be okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to maybe cause a little bit of lag by uh, getting rid of all this stuff at once. But we absolutely need to get rid of all that. Um, yeah, this is going to be uh, quite, quite the lag fest here. But all this stuff on the ground, the builders can come and grab that. Treated plank processing is currently not a huge concern for us. But as we get into, especially using these mines, it will be so. Uh, to that end, I think our treated plank processing should live in the middle tier. Uh, maybe in this corner would actually be a good place to do it because we do have all of this stored here. So uh, I was planning on putting the plank factories right here. We still can. There's no rule that says we can't. But... Uh, we uh, do need to find a space for the... Uh... I already forgot what they're called. <laughs> I, I think we can pretty easily accomplish that, though, if, we, uh, if we're smart about how we set stuff up. So how is this? On the other side, we have our uh, industrial lumber mills. Again, we don't have enough bots for this, but I do now see we have 27 who are unemployed. So let's uh, let the game think for a second and then come over here. Yeah, we got 24 in here. We filled all our other jobs. So guess what? Uh, Body McBotville is about to send over... Actually, I should have District 3 minimum set to 100, and that should just honestly solve all that problem real quick. They'll just automatically send some of those over there. So let's check out... Yeah, see, now we only have 45 empty, empty jobs. That should help substantially with getting everything else set up. Uh, they're building here okay. Yep, that's about, uh, about what we want to see with that. This is going to take quite some time, but it's good to know we're actually building stuff. And back to our original discussion, uh, should probably just have a whole bunch more of these plank factories, lumber mills, industrials, whatever you want to call them. Oh, but you know what? We can turn these back on. Wow, we uh, we are making plenty of power. And, you know, it's nice to have the beavers uh, get their enjoyment in. <laughs> we'll turn them right back off when the, uh, when the drought comes in. Uh, but if we keep adding the engines to this, it's going to become eventually not a problem to take care of all the stuff we should be, should be a-okay. So now what I'm attempting to figure out is, can I justify not putting in industrial lumber mills right here? If we're going to already have two here, we're going to have two here. Um, oh, this side doesn't even have them at all. Because I forgot we hadn't even built anything over here. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine then, because um, this corner is probably going to be just fine to be specialized as a, uh, what do you call it? Wood workshop area. Is this uh, empty? Yes, it is. All right, so that's what we'll do. Uh, we already have scrap metal on the ground here. We'll have to come uh, take care of that. But pathway, pathway. Come on, let me click on the path. I know it's under here. I had it. There we go. Uh, we have these water wheels that will uh, transfer power 
no matter what. So that will work out just fine. Uh, wood workshop here and here will be a very good start. Uh, this water tank does not need to be here because this is a bot only district now. So we will empty this. Uh, I don't know if they're going to really put it anywhere. They might transfer it up to the uh, top, which would be perfectly fine. But with that out of the way, we can have our path come in uh, along this side. Then we, that means, of course, we can get rid of this. Yeah, this might take them a little while to empty, but uh, we're going to want to have storage for regular planks and treated planks. Right now, we just kind of have a catch-all storage here. So uh, I believe by the time we're actually using these underground ruins as mines, we're going to need a lot of treated planks. So we probably are justified to have six of these over here eventually. But for right now, we don't need them. So we'll just let them... Uh... Oh, I need to set those for bots. Okay, well, that should be easy. Um, we should, in this middle district, have... Uh... I know we have log storage. I know we have uh, plank storage somewhere. But I don't know that we have gear storage. But they managed to, uh, they managed to get them in there anyway. Uh, we're making gear, so that's probably why. Planks, I know they're going to have some of that. So maybe they're just uh, maybe they're just waiting. I don't know. But um, point being, we can, we can get rid of all this now. Just get rid of everything here. And again, the, uh, the entire underside of this is also raw material storage. Now granted, this side of it is food. And that's okay. Hey, look, our well-being is up to 43. That's what happens when you turn the monuments back on. Uh, but this, okay, this is gear storage, uh, which we will need to build things, but we don't need to have a ton of up here. Uh, I'm kind of tempted, let's see, what is log storage, log storage? Well, they're going to use some of this to build, and whatever they don't use to build, we can just, uh, you know, overtly dispose of. Uh, but this is going to need to be mirrored like the other side here. So let's get our path in place. Just all the way across here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we have to remember that this corner needs to be built like the others, which we had not done. Uh, I kind of forgot how I had this set up. I don't think it really matters, honestly. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do it this way. And we're going to pretend like I knew exactly the direction that it had to go in, and uh, that will be fine just like that. Uh, get this all connected up here. And then, of course, going down this side, we'll have to have paths as well. But for right now, that is working out splendidly. And we have enough storage of everything else. I'm not going to be afraid to just go ahead and get rid of all this. Uh, the only issue is going to be finding what to do with all the scrap. It might just have to be one of those things where uh, the stuff just gets kind of left on the ground. Yeah, see, look at all this. Look at all this mess we're about to put on this. Put on the ground. There's not really any other way to do it. Almost every other storage is full. And we have tons of builders. So it's not going to be a problem to pick it up. It's just going to be a hilarious mess. So. Mm, yeah, look at that. Look at that frame rate drop. All right, that's uh, that's fine. Just get the rest of this all situated. I'm not going to demolish the, uh, the tank for the... Uh, what's this called? Canola oil? Yeah, that's fine. See, <laughs> look look at all this mess. Let's let's give the builders a, a chance to catch up here, and um, just mark this all as super prioritized. So they'll come get the garbage off the ground, so we can actually see what's going on. Uh, but uh, remember, we're going to be putting in the same kind of things that we had already set up. I don't think there's okay. There there was a path under that. There's a path under that. I know for a fact uh, we can put another thing of. Uh, whatever this is called. <laughs> you can put that in place. And we can keep our uh, keep our power shaft little thing over here so we can keep the, uh, the stuff going this way. That should be fine. Just want to make sure we have our options set up correctly. Uh, this is in the incorrect place. So uh, we probably will end up uh, moving this right here. So I'll set that to empty. So the haulers can take care of that and not the builders. Uh, they are coming to grab stuff. We just maybe don't at this exact moment have enough uh, enough places to put everything. But uh, the majority of this, I think, will be used. In fact, uh, to give our frame rate just a little bit of a break, 
Let's uh, slow down to one times speed. There's no, no reason to rush through this. But I just want to make sure we're making good use of our space here and uh, put in things that are likely to use a lot of these materials we have sitting on the ground. Uh, there's no... There might have been a ladder there, I guess, why there's no path. Well, that's what that's what I was trying to figure out, so that's fine. All right, uh, food factories. We'll just get this set up here. A-OK, -okay. and then around the corner as well. Oh, that's right, we have to put a, uh, what do you call it there? Yep, scientific term. Uh, get that path out of here. Any other paths I should know about? All right, so that's going to work out just fine. Now we, need, of course, need to get this uh, gun all the way down here. That'll be fine. And then we have our uh, crossovers here and here. Easy, easy, easy to put this on top. I'll get that nice and connected. And then in the corner here, I elected to go with just this simple uh, charging mechanism for the bots. Should not be an issue uh, to get that set up. We just have to make sure that when we are building this, we don't uh, create places for the, the bots to be uh, stuck in, where they can actually go and grab all of these different materials. Not entirely sure what we need to put it here. I, I really don't think we need to have four coffee breweries. Uh, and there's not really, outside of a uh, uh, an oil squisher downer, whatever the thing's called, oil press. Yeah, there you go, squisher downer, that's a scientific term. Uh, there's not really anything else we could put there, so we might end up just doing that. Honestly, I think that's probably going to be fine. Uh, the builders certainly have more than enough to uh, occupy themselves with, so I will uh, get these high prioritized as well, just so they can use the materials and hopefully uh, take care of that. So we'll go back into triple speed, see if these guys actually can uh, can make sense of any of this. Then we'll uh, we'll move on. So before the drought starts or bad tide or whatever it is, well, if it's a bad tide, actually, we're not going to need to worry about it. But if it is a drought, we are going to have to erect a temporary power uh, transference over into this house complex because that's just how we already had it set up. But again, that's going to be something that just has to happen when it has to happen. Uh, we have tons of tons of beavers set up here as builders, so they really should not have any issue uh, taking care of stuff, unless it's because there's no storage for them to put items in, which, you know what, probably, probably is something that I neglected to set up properly, so, uh, mmm, lag, yes, wow, it, it managed to put it in exactly the correct place, despite not being the correct place, okay, so let's give them storage for planks, metal blocks, and logs, because I might have actually gotten rid of all of them up here, so, if that is actually the case, I know I'm prioritizing everything, but when it's everything else is already prioritized. Um, if that's actually the case, and that's why they haven't picked a lot of this stuff up, then that's going to be fine. We'll just get it taken care of. Uh, gear storage will also be an easy thing for us to uh, get done here. I'm, I'm building this one with just logs because that's what I know we're going to have access to. Uh, gears, there it is. Yeah, so now we just have to grab some logs to build the piles to put everything else in. Ah, uh, they can't get required materials to build the uh, to build the pile because they don't have really, really. Is that is that why this isn't working? Huh. What a strange conundrum to find ourselves in, where we can't have log storage because we don't have any. Am I gonna have to do? Uh... Am I going to have to do some stupid here? Uh, lumberjack flag. Because this this will temporarily store logs. I don't know if you can put logs in it. But, um... Maybe. No goods in stock. Okay. If you prioritize it by haulers, what happens? I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Is I removed all the storage, so now they can't put anything anywhere. It's just kind of dumb. If that's actually the way that this works. All right. Am I going to have to grow a tree up here just to have any amount of log storage? Oh, this is a nightmare. Um, okay, we have... Do we have logs stored in this? We do. 
All right, so I'll tell you what. Now, instead of instead of trying to reverse engineer the wheel again, let's. Um, <laughs> you guys are going to think this is stupid or the best thing you've ever seen. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you think this is incredibly stupid or smart. We're going to disconnect this from the middle district and then reconnect it to the top one by removing the gate and then putting this path back in. So now, now, now we have 2,800 logs. <laughs> Not going to be forever. I just need it to, uh, to uh, connect so we can actually construct these things. It's so weird that it would do that. That is kind of funny that that's how the game decided to, uh, decided to make that work. Well, I guess we learned something today, or maybe you already knew it, but I didn't. Either that or I had already, uh, already known it and then forgot conveniently, but, um, I guess that means we can get rid of this lumberjack flag. Don't need that anymore. And then when these beavers wake up in the morning, they can just go grab all those uh, logs, start building things to hold the logs that we want to still have up here. And then that should, uh, hopefully, hopefully solve all those problems and then we'll be in good shape. Uh, man, what a, uh, <laughs> what a weird, what a weird blunder to encounter. Well, now they can pick up all the garbage. So I'll tell you what. We'll, oh, look at these guys. They're uh, they're coming in here like gangbusters. What is the origin of the term gangbusters? I don't know. It feels like something that would be from a uh, like a 1930s mob movie or something. Anyway, so um, now now we can actually have this set back up the way it was supposed to be uh, with our small gate. This is a great mod item, by the way. I don't I don't know what mod it's from, but you guys did confirm that it was from a mod in the comments. So uh, thanks for looking out. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't know who made it, but I like that this is small enough where I don't have to build these enormous, crazy structures everywhere. So now this is once again a part of the as to uh, be named District 3. And now we have all this space for them to come and grab all their materials. And now they can actually move around and do everything they need to do, which is hilarious that it has to be this way. But uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll get these guys uh, situated here. Everything's looking good. And we still have more bots to bring in. So let's uh, take a moment here. Yeah, we got 15 extra bots, which means I believe, yeah, we can uh, we can bring these guys in. I'm just going to keep on um, keep on increasing the minimum in District 3 so they'll just automatically come over. Uh, now we're down to 28 uh, unemployed, or not unemployed, 28 vacancies. And uh, as we get more metal up here... Oh, we have 190. Yeah, I'm gonna build. Um, I'm gonna build these engines immediately, so we can start using more and more of the, uh, more and more of the stuff. I just didn't want to wait. This isn't connected, really. Oh, they haven't finished this. Oh, because they didn't have any logs. <laughs> that would be why. That would be why. But we'll get that taken care of. Uh, yeah, they're they're already working on it. All right. Are we are we at least putting stuff in here? Okay, we're eating on metal blocks. Uh, which we don't have, but now we can actually import, which is nice. That is probably going to take a little bit more time, but they are clearing this. It's it's working out uh, pretty nicely, I think. And that is all well and good. So since I'm looking at the inventors, we do need to have a discussion about uh, science because, uh, brief detour here, the steel bridges with the tracks on them actually consume science beyond a certain point. The, the one by one and the two by ones don't, but three and above consume science, which I, oh good, it's a bad tide. I don't have to worry about connecting power. Um, I, I don't know why specifically, but I would imagine it is something to do with uh, simulating the need to have engineering research or constant upkeep or something. I don't know. I've not seen a building actually actively consume science besides the, uh, you know, the control tower. So that's a cool mechanic. But it does mean that we are going to have to have number crunchers, which I know uh, some of you are very excited for. So we need to figure out where we're going to put those. Um, they can be stacked on top of anything. Uh, we can put them on top of our uh, flywheels, but they are going to have to be connected uh, through the bottom or the side, and the flywheels do not communicate power except through the axle here. So that's something we might have to get into. Or we could just kind of spam them on the ground here, but that's kind of ugly and I don't want to do that. We might end up putting them underwater because they don't care if they get wet. Uh, but for the time being, that's not a huge concern. But 
maybe next episode it will be if we manage to actually get trains running. Uh, this episode, I guess, and now looking at the uh, the time spent recording, is pretty much all prep and uh, getting the food situation a little bit more organized up here, which is fine. But I uh, I do want you to know that we are actually going to be starting to do train stuff probably uh, next episode. I want to do it this one, but we're just not going to have time. But that is that is why we started clearing this out and why we will continue. Uh, we could, I guess, if we have enough planks, which actually now we got a pretty good amount. Uh, how about in this district specifically? 188. Yeah, we could actually start laying tracks. Uh, I don't want to bait people into thinking this is the train episode, so I'm probably not going to make that the episode title. But um, I guess we can start putting tracks down. We'll just start with uh, those five right there, I suppose. Well, they'll put some tracks in, and then eventually we'll have everything uh, all situated. But uh, since we're talking about the trains, they don't really work great inside of a district because at that point you're just moving goods from one station to another in the same district, and it's going to create an infinite work loop. So not really the best usage of that. So what we're going to end up doing, and we kind of talked about this before, is this middle loop is going to be middle loop. Uh, this middle tier is going to be split into two districts. And it was probably going to happen eventually anyway, but uh, this right here, all the way out to maybe maybe including this tree farm since it's already here, uh, will be one district. And then uh, this corner, when we get this cleared out, will be another district center. And then into this corner, we'll probably put another tree farm. And we'll, of course, have these separated with the gates, but also the train stations. Uh, you can see the current version of the mod does not have the passenger stations. That was a mechanic that, for whatever reason, just didn't end up working well, so it's been removed until if and when it can be fixed. But we still have the good stuff to work with, and uh, having that go between districts is obviously the best way to use it. So we'll, we'll end up uh, probably just circulating some of the same materials, but it will be between districts. And then maybe, maybe up to the uh, to the top here, if we can figure out a good way to do train elevation, might have to make some interesting ramps, uh, but we will get that taken care of as time goes by. Let's have this set to canola oil. And then is this one already empty? It is. We can demolish it and uh, they can put all that stuff here. All right. So what are we waiting on? Metal blocks. Really? Is it, are we really that hard up for metal blocks? I guess. Oh, they're constantly putting them in and then immediately they're coming back out. All right. Well, that's uh, about what I was expecting. So that is fine. Uh, we shouldn't have any issues with bad water. I think we solved all those a long time ago. But uh, you can never be too careful, it seems, uh, with how we have this stuff set up. So who knows? Yeah. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do with the trains on the upper level. I kind of wanted to just have a loop around the outside here. But uh, we do have our signs there. And they're not really going to serve that much of a purpose of being built in a loop. It's better of like a, a point to point with the turnaround, at least up in this upper area, I think. So maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll have something figured out. We always do eventually. Sometimes it takes a long time, uh, but we do manage to get that done for the most part. So let's see if I can get more metal up here. Good, good, good. This is actually starting to get built. Uh, I'm just going to mirror what's up here. Not that we really need that many more eggplant rations, but uh, as you can see, we're we're actually kind of underproducing corn. So maybe uh, maybe that is going to be something we need to just have uh, this side focus more on corn. We have our corn and our eggplant, um, and then the algae could be over here. No, oh, that one's corn. That one's corn. That one's algae. That one's algae. That one's eggplant. That one's eggplant. Hmm. Yes. Loud sounds. So I'm going to make that one do corn. And uh, eggplant. Actually, we have more algae. Wow, okay. So I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll just we'll just do eggplant. And then these right here, I can't tab select those. Uh, but these three could, or at least maybe these uh, four here could be for algae. Remember, we are doubling all of our stuff. But we'll get that uh, situated here. And then I, I guess for right now, I guess for right now we'll just do a, just do eggplants. So we can start churning the inventory on those. Yeah, that should work nicely. And I guess since we don't have any other really 
pressing hat pressing need. I promise you that was unplanned. <laughs> we will get uh we'll get these guys popped in here. So they can at least continue pressing things. Uh, depending on how we want to have this laid out, we could put another press back to back and just have a uh, the path to get into it here. But I suppose that's fine. This is making what? Fermented soybeans. And this one is also making fermented soybeans. I don't know if we really need to have this book ended here. I don't know. We'll get, we'll get it figured out. But uh, we are not currently making any more of these fermented things. So that probably is a smart thing to put on the end here. Uh, just to get that taken care of. So we'll do uh, we'll do the soybeans on the end. Why not? Uh, this hauling post is going to need to move. Uh, we still have one hauling post if I get rid of this. Oh, bad tide time. Hopefully it doesn't flood. There's no reason why it would. But I'm always kind of oddly paranoid about the uh, the bad water. Well, it's, it's working. All right. Cool. Uh, that's all paused. Um... Actually, since this is still generating power, we can just leave that on. That's fine. Um, check our... Oh, yeah, we're still making enough power. Very nice. Uh, the batteries, uh, oddly enough, were... It looks like discharged, probably because of these pumps running all the time. Uh, but we will continue to get that uh, situated correctly. All right. Algae. We've got the theater tech guru in here making algae rations. And Matt Drums as well. Uh, this hauling post is going away, like I just said. Oh, we already had this infrastructure in here, kind of. That's nice. Uh, one more food factory. Right here, and then this, I guess, will just be corn, because symmetry is cool. Uh, these are in place. What's what's back here in the corner? Yeah, come, come, in, come and get all this stuff. It's probably... Oh, the canola seeds. Do we even need that many? Storage is really... Oh, I got rid of all the canola seed storage. Well, that's not smart. Okay. Um, mm, all right. I'll I'll do this. I'll do this the right way, and I'll push it out. There we go. And then uh, that way they can pick it up later when we actually have a uh, actually have a building that we can put it in. But that uh, that is unfortunate that that is uh, the result of that. But that does mean that we have a good excuse to put in a gargantuan storage for canola seeds. And I think the way this is set up probably would make sense to put in... Yeah, put in a big boy right here. Uh, could be for algae, but I, I kind of like putting the algae in the uh, the smaller ones. So we could have maybe eight of those. Eight times 200 is 1,600, and these are 1,200, so that'll work out just fine. Uh, canola seeds, that's what was going there. See, it's nice when this stuff ends up working out to be in a good pattern. You can feel nice about it. Uh, algae, 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 good. Yeah, well, we'll just uh, we'll just continue this like we had been. Again, we have plenty of storage for the finished food products. We just hadn't uh, hadn't quite gotten there. All right, so this was. Oh, I made a mistake. That needs to be a reinforced platform. All right, well we can uh, we can fix that. I really need to get that audio clip of Dulé Hill doing the, I can fix that. Not a ladder. Why is the ladder in the second spot? I, I feel like I've asked that question before. Um, maybe I will go find that clip. I'm never going to remember to put that in, but uh, <laughs> it is a, it is a good meme potential. Well, anyway, uh, side platforms, the whole reason why we have, hello, let me, um, there we go. Whole reason why we have this the way we do, so we can, you know, actually have the uh, connectivity that we desire here. We'll have to remember to replace this as well. Should not be a big deal. Uh, they can still get to pretty much anywhere. Well, let's not let's not delete the irrigation barrier. That would be bad. Uh, reinforced platform here. This one probably needs to be fixed as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Trying to be mindful of our time here. I imagine the end of this bad tide cycle will. Uh, Go ahead and call it a wrap for today. But uh, we have the opportunity to still get a lot of good stuff done. So let's maximize what we have access to here. All right, so that is looking good. And now I can come in here uh, with our double platforms and make plenty of space. Yeah, that's going to be wonderful to have that there. Um, the situation with the 
power wheels, water wheels, so not power wheels. Uh, over here is going to be complicated until we move our hydroponic gardens, but we haven't quite gotten there yet. Uh, this is in place. Let's get our four-way. I always want to go to the wrong side. Let's get our four-way in here, and then once that's done, uh, we can put in another bot charger. Uh, get that taken care of, and then, of course, we do have to have our platforms here to get this all connected. Guess we'll just go like that. Uh, I don't need this to all be hooked up this way, but I think I'm going to. Just for the sake of redundancy, this can go away, that can go away. This, in theory, doesn't need to be a four-way, but it probably will be. It can be canola oil. There's still all this stuff on the ground, which is mostly, it seems, treated planks. Uh, for the sake of just cleaning stuff up, Mm, yes, lag. Hello, let me click. Thank you. Uh, I will make a storage for the treated planks, and then uh, we'll let those get put up, just so we can export those uh, to the other other district. That should be okay. This is looking good. All right. That will go here. Just fine. And then we have this space in the corner we haven't really decided what to do with. Uh, could be a good, not a monument, could be a good spot for these decorations. We've got beaver busts, we've got beaver statues, we've got uh, braziers, we've got lanterns and all that all that fun stuff. So let's we'll see, 30 metal blocks for a beaver statue? Okay, maybe not. Uh, we'll get it uh, We'll get it figured out. Get our stuff cleaned up as best we can. Uh, make the good progress that we want to make. Uh, canola seeds go here. They can pick those up if they so desire. And then we'll get, uh, of course, our stuff sat right ah i know i know what happened is i uh <laughs> yeah the way the way this is set up is not uh not conducive to this working well that'll be a problem for when we move everything else around but i still can put in uh, this little bit here that of course going to become algae storage then a big storage which i i'm not really sure what should go here Based on the amount that we're probably going to be going through, I'm kind of tempted to say canola seeds, especially if I'm going to have any more of these oil presses over here. Because this was raw materials for corn, this was raw materials for eggplants, and of course we have the algae everywhere else. Uh, berries here, those will... That will probably have to stay there because we have uh, these doohickeys right here. So, I guess... And also, look at, look at the amount of... Let's look at the amount of canola seeds we have here. I guess we'll just make that canola. That'll work out just fine. And then uh, over here we'll have to figure something else out. Not entirely sure how that's going to work. Although maybe, maybe the way this is set up, we could put our uh, hydroponic gardens here because that would, that would actually probably be a smart thing to do. We could just move this out. Well, we're out of time for this one anyway, so uh, maybe that can be a thing we do in the next episode if I can remember that. Uh, by the time you watch this episode, the next episode will have already been recorded. Uh, I did have to get a little bit of a, uh, a backlog established so I could uh, go and fulfill some quote-unquote real-life job op uh, obligations, whatever you want to call those. You know, the thing where you're not playing video games on the internet for fun. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we're going to do that next episode and then uh, we'll see what happens with all of that fun stuff. But yeah, this is looking to be a big improvement. Uh, obviously, we haven't planted anything here yet, but we will be at some point. This is basically already full. Our pine resin, explosives, pine resin, more explosives. I think I might have already clicked on those. Cassavas. Okay, so we we need to have the processing uh, for the rest of this dialed, and we haven't quite gotten there yet. Bits and pieces. Takes time. That's just uh, the way you got to do it here. So I think we can have we can have power run through here with the help of the fermenters, uh, but we're going to have to figure out how that is going to happen with the way the power uh, itself gets transferred. Probably the easiest thing to do is to just uh, have this continued along the way of the irrigation barrier, or what we could do is we could run it uh, down here. We could use our power shaft tunnels. We do have access to the 10 long one. Uh, would actually be a pretty good, uh, that'd be a pretty good use of that to come up here. But we would have to be able to still attach it to the underside 
of everything. <laughs> it's so funny when you take the pathway, the viewers are just floating. Because uh, right now, I have this set up here, going through that way. We would have to have somebody come down here, and then maybe, depending on how we have this set up, I might have to, uh, might have to remove one of these uh, lodges here, barracks, what have you. Wait, no, 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 we don't, because this is only a path. Oh, that's going to be, that's going to be power play. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me tell you what. All right. We're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this right now, just because we have the opportunity to shaft tunnels as I click on that and make it go away. Um, the one long. Why is, oh, because there's a path here. What's on top of this? Ah, yes, the water tank. Okay. Well, that's not going to be a fun problem to solve, but um, I promise it's going to be worth it. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll get we'll get this uh, we'll get this fixed up. We'll put that there. Uh, the one by one tunnel here is going to work out nicely because oh look at look at this we're going to be uh, okay maybe not that smart maybe not that smart. I forgot. I forgot that I've got I've got to offset at one spot, but we'll get this we'll get this done we'll get it done. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at us, look at us here. Making, wait, why is that not working? Did I um, did I do a stupid here? Are those different depths? Oh, they absolutely are. <laughs> okay. I don't dare, I do not dare have that set up uh, to be that way there. All right. Is this a double platform? Then why is, oh, okay, because this is only a single, really? I got I got away with that being a single block deep? Sheesh. All right. Um, I think that has to be on a reinforced platform. Yeah, probably. All right. Well, appreciate you bearing with me with this. Uh, Power Chef tunnel has to go on top of that, which then means that, wait, hold on. Oh, no, that's going to be fine. That can be built on top of it. Oh, okay. All right, buddy. You got to get off of there. You go. I don't want you going down in the, uh, the nasty water here. So now we can have our universal power shafts. What a great mod. What a fantastic mod. Saved my butt so many times. Uh, yeah, we'll... Uh... We'll just, uh, you know, conveniently uh, run the power into the water tank. You know, no, uh, <laughs> no, uh, no problems there. It's it's mechanical energy. It's fine. Uh, but that is going to allow us here to do that. And that. Look at us. Look how look how smart we are. <laughs> oh, I hope this doesn't. I hope this doesn't foul up. I really, I really hope this doesn't foul up. But um, anyway. That is going to end up being uh, coming in through here, and it's going to look a little ugly, but, uh, you know, that's the price you pay for greatness, is uh, is what we'll say. And then, uh, then this can just end up being uh, a huge, really ugly, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just, um, we'll, we'll just, we'll just deal with it. Power comes across here, and then I will uh, I will get rid of that flywheel. There's no reason for that to be there. All right, that means I just have to have it come down here into a building. So then we have to have storage for the uh, raw materials as well. But we'll get that figured out. I guess I can take it up three times speed. No need to be rushing about it. So let's do some fermenters. The way that these are going to have to be set up, we have to have power coming down here, uh, which could very easily uh, be set up. Let's actually pause this so I don't have to worry about them building any of this. But we can have that set up like so, and then we could have that set up like so, right, like this. You know what? That's actually not the worst idea ever. I don't think so, at least. Uh, that will allow the power to go through there, and then we'll also have a space over here if we so choose uh, to have power go across here, which actually could be uh, could be nice. Might be a fun thing to uh, to do there. So if we have that set up, then I've got a little bit of space in the middle. We could put monuments, 
And then maybe behind this, we could have uh, another set of these if we uh, end up having to get into that. But we have uh, soybeans. We have four for soybeans. And then I'm building another seven here like this until we have it redone. So let's... Uh, now the ones closest to the, uh, uh, the what do you call it, needs to use the, uh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic, um, <laughs> fantastic uh, math here. Oh, really? The soybean's the only one that needs the uh, the oil? Okay. All right, well, I guess that doesn't matter then. So we'll do just for the sake of having this in the correct spot. Uh, fermented cassavas for three. Fermented mushrooms for four. That'll be fine. All right, and then what we can do here is we can get this uh, universally powered there, and that, I think, will end up being... Okay. okay So with that in mind, um, we could very easily... I know I, I did say I was going to put the uh, campfires here, but we'll try this out. I mean, we already have, what, six? We have 12 of these. I guess that's going to be fine. If we end up needing more campfires, then we can build them. But um, during, I mean, during the middle of the day, we already have almost half the beavers satisfied with the campfires. So let's, uh, let's unpause this. Uh, get them to build all these things, and then I think we'll be in okay shape. Uh, I do need to end this episode pretty soon. And I did say I was going to do that at the end of the bad tide cycle. So we're going to be in pretty good shape for that. And I think that's going to be all sorts of fun. So I guess we can go ahead and start ending this episode now. Let's just make sure unconnected buildings... Wait. Oh, okay, because they got rid of the tree. I'm glad I, uh, glad I caught that. Yeah, that is going to be it for this one once they have everything uh, all connected and ready to go. Uh, again, just a reminder, the uh, next episode in this series will come out before any of you see this. So uh, feel free to leave comments as always, but uh, I'm not going to see them until uh, I go to record episode 28 of this series. But I, I do always read them. I do always value the comments and I do my best to try and include your ideas uh, as much as I can if it's something that I can understand and uh, implement in a satisfactory manner. But yeah, that is, uh, that's about the size of it. Uh, we do have, uh, tomorrow, I promised a, a new series starting on tomorrow being Friday. Uh, but, uh, that video is going to come out on Saturday, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be fun. So tomorrow we'll have transport fever two, uh, the normal Saturday video just for this week. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, go watch the second episode of that series if you haven't already. But um, I uh, clearly did not connect this, so let's let's take a quick detour real quick. A quick detour real quick. Great, great, fantastic uh, English language there. Uh, so what, what, we, what we need to do is we need to actually connect this. This is a straight to vertical. I really should have made it a universal. But it's a little late for that, so... Um, that's the power shaft tunnel. This, I believe, is going to be our best opportunity to kind of covertly fix that error right here. Uh, just do like so. I don't think they're going to be able to reach this. Actually, hold on. Ooh, you know what? You know what? Let's um, let's use our thinking caps here, and I will uh, I'll make this so they can actually reach it from above. I think they should be able to take care of that. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if they get this done. Let's uh, let's prioritize this. Let's see what they can uh, what they can accomplish here. I'm pretty sure they can reach that from above. Maybe, maybe not. If they can't, then we're just gonna have to. Uh, they're swimming. Yeah, they're swimming right here. Um, we're gonna have to just put in a uh, an access here, which I will actually go ahead and do, so I don't forget. It's just one of those things that I probably should have done first when I uh, set out to do this. But you know how it goes, so we'll uh, we'll let them take care of that. But like I was saying, uh, tomorrow's going to be uh, Transport Fever 2. Saturday, new game, new series. Should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, and then Sunday, of course, will be the next episode of the series, which, again, will be recorded uh, before you guys see this one. So... Uh, Look forward to that. We'll be able to get a whole lot more stuff done. And that should be very, very good fun. 
Outside of that, uh, no streams this weekend unless something changes. I will not be available, will not be in town. So uh, I will do my best to <laughs> try and do more in the middle of the week so you guys can catch catch those as well. we got plenty to do in Satisfactory, and I do want to start doing some Timberborn streams, maybe some one-off challenges or uh, taking a look at some other stuff uh, while we await uh, new developments in other Timberborn stuff. We will do Water Beavers Update 5. Uh, I do want to let that breathe a little bit since the end of the folktale series and i kind of don't want to start another update five series until we're sure that we're not getting update six anytime soon because the last thing i want to do is start a brand new series and then two days later the uh the update comes out and like oh, okay well now this is kind of pointless so then that's no nobody wants that so we, we might try a little bit of live streaming stuff but hey look at that we got a well-being of 46 up to uh up to there and it looks like these are uh, looks like these are getting power now. So that was successful. Uh, there's no danger of this having bad water in it, so we shouldn't have any problems uh, with the beavers getting sick. However, cycle 36 begins. Uh, I still kind of want to uh, <laughs> still kind of want to get these uh, these guys from not swimming down here. So let's just check and make sure nobody's down here, and then we will. Um, conveniently remove the stairs so that nobody can get down here and then the path as well future proofing is always always in style unless you're stuck in the past but uh, I digress that is going to be it for today we got everything hooked up like we wanted to and we are getting closer and closer to this top district being food only and most notably uh, this is up and running we just need to get bots charged and get more of them brought up here. But we'll pick right back up in the next episode and we'll get all sorts of fun stuff taken care of. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun. Uh, appreciate you as always, Beard Boosters as well. You already know. And uh, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.